Hey everybody, this is Abby Stahlschmidt. I'm here in the studio with my good friend and my co-writer Cliff Downs. We've been working on music um, for years now, really the past four years on this EP, Dreamy in Color. And you had a chance to meet him in our interview that we did last week. We are so excited to actually officially announce one of the top arrangers and orchestrators and musicians in the world is coming alongside us in our project. This is Carl Ridland, and you have heard his work on some of the top blockbuster films, including Dunkirk, The Joker, The Lion King, Batman vs. Superman, The Dark Knight Rises, and many, many more. Carl, we are so excited to have you alongside us. So Pleasure. thank you oh, for course. being here. I would love to actually talk to you both, but maybe first, Carl, on a little bit of your background. I know that you are currently um, still working with one of the top composers in the film industry, Hans Zimmer. Tell us maybe a little bit about how that, that process started or how that relationship came about. The relationship came about like all relationships do with people that you know. You end up working for your friends. And friends of mine are friends of his, and we all do orchestration and work in the studios together, and it just kind of became a, a synergy of people. Um, I think that, that my whole thing that started out, my dad was a musician. Mm -hmm. And so I grew up in the music business in Denver, Colorado, where I'm from. And he had a music store. So I kind of like had no choice. Yeah. Uh, I, it's too late for me to become a brain surgeon and I would have been <laughs> horrible at it anyway. But um, being a musician was just my entire life. It's all I've ever done. It's all I can do. And that's how I spend all of my time. So when I moved to LA, it just became a progression of starting at the bottom, mm -hmm. so to speak, which is LA is not the bottom by any chance stretch, but starting in a position where I was a studio musician. Right. Before that, I was you know a copyist and was a copyist after being a studio musician. There was this strange shape of a ladder that I climbed up sure. that uh, became you know part of the background that got me to where I am, that gave me the foundation from being a studio guitar player, a copyist, uh, orchestrator, arranger, composer and proofreader for different wow. composers and different jobs. Um, I've done every job in the business. Yeah, you've seen all angles of yeah, the music business. Yeah, every job right. in the music business in Los Angeles, London, and now Nashville since we moved here about three years right. ago. So I know that you've had, you have such an extensive list of um, films that you worked on and projects that you've worked on. Do you have, if you could narrow it down to even maybe top three, do you top have three. top three projects that you've worked oh, on? Top three projects. It's hard because, and I don't mean to sound glib about this, but like when I'm working on stuff, it's like a Tuesday yeah. for me. I mean, working right. on the this Joker thing. was just another pro one movie in the whole year, but it, they become what they become after I'm done with them. Mm -hmm. So I have to kind of look back and go, it was fun. I think one of my f most fun projects was a recent one I did. I did three nights at Radio City Music Hall with Josh Groban. And that was a treat because... Mm -hmm. First of all, he's a great guy, great performer, really fun to do music for music's sake. And the band, um, they became my family, and they're my friends anyway. And that's what makes these things special, is mm -hmm. working with your friends. So I'd say recently, the Josh Groban thing was awesome. All the stuff working with Hans has always been great. Uh, my dear friend, Teddy Castellucci, who I worked with a bunch doing Andrew, Adam Sandler movies, uh, that was another family unit, still is. They're still some of my favorite people to hang out with. And I just like hanging out with great people. Mm -hmm. Things have kind of come full circle for you. Mm -hmm. And you studied under an orchestrator that was one of Hans Zimmer's top orchestrators when you were in college. Mm -hmm. Well, I studied with his dad. Okay. Yeah. Um, Bruce Fowler's dad, Doc Fowler, was one of my composition teachers in college. And that's yeah. how I kind of got reacquainted with Bruce and his brothers, uh, Walt especially, who are orchestrators for Hans and, and became part of that family. Wow, yeah, yeah. that's so cool that that yeah. has kind of come full circle. Yeah, yeah. So, Cliff, you were actually the one that introduced me to Carl. Yes. Um, and I would... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been years. No, it was... Uh... <laughs> oh, it's Stephen Tracy. Yeah, Stephen Tracy. Yes. Yeah, so I would love to talk about even your background in, in the music business. Started as a songwriter, then you know went up with a record deal in Atlantic and did that for a few years, did a little touring, and then he started having songs in a bunch of different TV shows and and then that, that led into just doing nothing but writing and producing and just getting the songs recorded by a lot of different people and then I've always had a, I've always had a love for strings and orchestral mm -hmm. music I'm totally untrained but I, I you know I melodic, melody is everything to mm -hmm. me and 
Uh, so that's why when I met Carl, I was thinking that you and I had been working on this on and off for three or four years, and I thought, wow, it'd be so great to have someone who actually knows what the hell we're doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> we need that. <laughs> so, um, uh, so it's, I'm excited to you know actually get in the studio and um, Absolutely. and take the things because there's the way you and I started was so just get together and see if we can write something and yeah. you know, within the end of that the day pretense, we, had, yeah. we had a couple of things and all of a sudden we realized wow this is really fun mm -hmm. and it took shape as, as I wish more projects did and that is just so unplanned and organically mm -hmm. and and I mean I've known you since you were young well over so yeah yeah and uh so it's been fun to watch you know you grow as an artist and it's been just really fun to but to me the, the one of the best parts of this whole project has been is, is that there are, we don't have any rules or any like we're we don't have to write a verse in the course and blah blah and it's just sure. like we just write whatever happens to come out that day and it's it's pretty diverse and i i know that what carl's going to do to it is just going to take it to such an amazing level yes and, um, absolutely yeah, I'm I'm so excited to get into the studio too. I mean, I know that you've had this experience before. Well, obviously, both of you have. Mm -hmm. um, really seeing uh, the music come to life once you actually hand it over to an orchestra. I mean, you know, it's I, spectacular. Yes, it's the best. It's my favorite part. It's being in the studio. Yes, it's yes. spectacular. It always sounds way better than you think it will, right. and it always has this dimension and depth. And I think that's what yes. Cliff and I have talked about a couple of times. And what why this is coming together is. I think I can bring a cinematic voice to it mm -hmm. and bring width and depth with the orchestra that you don't normally get sure. in a sample library type of situation and kind of just make it broader, wider, deeper, higher, and much more cinematic mm -hmm. than the average singer-songwriter album out there, sure. which is all great. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that this stuff is kind of lending itself that way. Right. And right. it feels organic. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of layers. Yeah, there's uh, a lot to of layers music. to it. Exactly. So you're very excited. Well, thank you both. I'm so excited to really start this process with you, Carl and Cliff. It's been a pleasure working with you. you um, we can't wait to share this music with you guys. So please continue to check out the Indiegogo campaign. Thank you to all of you who have supported, donated, shared with your friends and family. Please continue to share. So thank you guys. We appreciate you. We could not do this without you. Much love. <laughs> We're still here. Cliff's here. No, I was just thinking I want to turn the air on. <laughs> I, was going, I, I love it. Um, so yes, you were actually the one that it's first. The hot air coming from me. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it's coming from. We have no fun here. <laughs>